Okay, guys, hey, welcome to another edition of Let's Piss Off the Internet Gun Community, brought to you by Rainchild.com. No, I'm kidding. You know, we did the video on why there's no such thing as a 45 ACP and cartridge, and I, and I caught a lot of flack from a lot of people. Generally speaking, most of it was pretty well received. Um, but that's fine. I'm cool with that. I didn't intend to piss anybody off, but I'm glad at least to see we opened up some discussion. And I guarantee you, regardless of where you feel on that side of the subject, when you go in there and buy a box of ammunition, you're at least going to look at what the box says and think of me and either A or whatever. But today I'm going to talk about something that's maybe a little bit less controversial, but something that I equally see misused a lot. Series 70 versus Series 80 Colt pistols. Now, immediately everybody's going to say, well, that's fire pin safety, no fire pin safety. Yes, but there's a whole lot more to it than just that. And I'm going to I'm gonna get into that a little bit. Here I've got two Colts. One's a Series 70, one's a Series 80. Both are Gold Cup National matches. And I'm using Gold Cups to demo because, well, Gold Cups are cool. So anyway, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. Magazine's out. Pistol's clear. This is the Series 70. Here's the Series 80. Magazine's out. Pistol's clear. Okay, in 1970, Colt introduced the Series 70 government model. And what that encompassed is, Colt began to use this collet-style barrel bushing. And it was a, a, a steel barrel bushing with, with actually four fingers that gripped what Colt calls the Accusizer barrel. Now, the theory behind this barrel bushing with the, with the, with the fingers and the Accusizer barrel is... It's supposed to make the pistol more accurate without having to hard fit a standard type barrel bushing to a standard type barrel. So it's supposed to get you the same kind of accuracy out of a custom fit barrel bushing and barrel, but without the, the amount of labor keeping cost down on the gun. Now, it actually worked as it was supposed to. It, it did really well. But over time, sometimes those fingers on those collet barrel bushings tended to bend or even fracture, break. And uh, if that were to happen, it would completely tie your gun up. So it, it didn't work out quite as well, I think, as they had hoped. So about 1983, Cole introduced the Series 80 pistol. Now, the Series 80 pistol from 83 to 88 could also be found with a collet barrel bushing. That, that began to completely phase out. But you could still run across a Series 80 marked Colt 1911 with a collet barrel bushing. So... You know how when they introduce new things, it takes a few years to get all the stuff phased out. But we're gonna we're gonna focus on the current Series 80 type pistols. Now, the 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 major change for Series 80 was the firing pin safety. Now, the firing pin safety on the Series 80 is actuated by the trigger. You've got you've got a couple levers that sit down the receiver. When you pull the trigger, the, the levers actually push up a plunger in the slide, allowing the firing pin to move back and forth. Don't confuse that with the Swartz safety that Colt introduced. It was in, in sometime in the 30s, and it was actually actuated by the grip safety. Uh, and it was phased out, I think, in in 1940s or a little bit before, um, basically because the Swartz safety just, well, it wasn't completely reliable. And I, I just think that it, they just, they done away with that. And uh, for years and years, there was no such thing as a firing pin safety. But, you know, I, lawyers get involved in everything. So... Here's the Series 80. Now, a couple other differences that I'm going to talk to you about. On the Series 70 pistol, the hammer actually has hammer hooks, half cock hammer hooks. So you can take you can take the hammer here and you can half cock it, and you pull the trigger, and nobody's home. Now, the theory behind that is, if you were to carry in condition two, which I do not recommend, and we're going to here again, we're going to show the gun is clear. If you were to carry in condition two, loaded magazine, hot chamber, hammer down and you were to thumb that hammer back like this, and then you were to lose the grip, those hammer hooks catch that hammer, and that's going to keep you from having a negligent discharge. But the, the thoughts on that were, that's, there's still a lot of force in this mainspring pushing that hammer forward, hitting those hammer hooks, and what Colt was concerned about possibly is those hooks either fracturing or breaking or beating up the sear. So the Series 80 hammer has more of a quarter cock notch, which does the same thing. You see here, we're going to safety first, gun's clear. If you were if you were thumb cocking it and you got it back here and you lost grip, 
the quarter cock notch still catches the hammer, but it's more of a notch and not a hook. Now the big difference is on the Series 80 with the quarter cock notch, you can actually pull the trigger and the hammer will fall. Now it, it, you see how much it falls. It's it's nowhere near enough to where it would cause it to discharge. But on the Series 70 with the hammer sitting in the hammer hooks, and you pull, the you, you can't even pull the trigger. So th that's the difference on that. Now, I hear a lot of people using the term, I've got a Series 70 Colt Commander. Or actually, I hear a lot of people using the term Commander. Understand this, Series 70, Series 80, Government Model, Commander, OACP, which stands for Officer's Automatic Colt Pistol. All these are trademarked Colt patents. Now, there are manufacturers who have licensed the Series 80 firing pin safety and that sort of stuff, but using the term Commander as any four and a quarter inch gun 1911 style gun is it's it's here again it's technically incorrect so all commanders and oacps have always been offered with only a barrel bushing a solid type barrel bushing you could never get a commander with a collet barrel bushing and the accursizer barrel so there's no such thing as a series 70 commander whether it's got fire and pin safety in or not your two options are pre-series 70 which means there's no fire and pin safety or Series 80, which means you do have the firing pin safety. And that holds true for the OACP as well. So, you know, bear in mind that uh, that's that's the major basic differences between your Series 70 and Series 80. Now, I think it was in 2001, Colt did a reissue of the Series 70. Now, here's the deal. That pistol does not have a firing pin safety, but is available with a solid barrel bushing. So it gets a little bit confusing, but this is not an exact Series 70 copy. It's more of a, a reissue, a reimagining of the gun. And then in, in 2002, Colt introduced a Series 70 in stainless steel. Now, before then, there's never been a Colt Series 70 pistol built using stainless steel. So here again, this is some new stuff Colt did in the early 2000s in order to start gaining a little bit more interest in some of their guns. A lot of people tend to shy away from the Series 80 because they say, well, it'll affect the trigger pull and this, that, and the other. And you know, man, there's a, there's a cat hair of truth in that. But generally speaking, any gun that you're going to carry and use, the carry gun, defensive gun, or, or range gun, or whatever, you know, you don't want to get that, that trigger pull much less than four pounds. For me personally, carry gun, I like my trigger to pull to be about five and a half pounds. So if you're keeping your trigger pulls at what most people would consider real world usage, then, you know, any competent gunsmith can get a Series 80 trigger tuned to just as good as anything from a Series 70 gun. And if they tell you they can't, they're either A, uneducated, or they're lying to you and they don't feel like doing it. So, that's what I wanted to go over today, just a couple of these differences, maybe help people understand a little bit more about what really all entails when you say Series 70 versus Series 80. And once again... Um, I, I appreciate the feedback, good, bad, right, or wrong. Let me know what you think. You know, comment, email me, Facebook me. Let me know what you what your thoughts are, how you like it, how you didn't like it. You know, this, that, and the other. We'll go from there. But look, anyway, as always, I really appreciate your time. It's on rangehot.com. Take care of yourself. Be safe. Look after one another, and uh, we'll see you at the range.